this session we're going to talk about uh, consumption of coffee or coffee consumption this article has been written by Casey a Native American uh, actually uh, this is the second time we are focusing on her articles and uh, yeah so uh, the participants in this session are uh, Hajar, Mas'ud, Mohsen, Shapur, Payman and Shagayak so uh, please open the page and let's focus on the questions in the common form and the question the first question is from uh, Puriya who is not here but anyway uh, how much is the best dose of daily caffeine usage remember it's not usage which is a typical uh, mispronunciation it's usage so who wants to answer this question perhaps Hajar, Hajar, would you care to answer this question, please? Uh, yes. Um, uh, we should uh, use the uh, moderate dose of uh, coffee uh, for uh, the extreme, uh, the uh, positive influence of it. Uh, and um, according uh, this uh, article, uh, we uh, should not uh, use uh, no more than uh, 300 milligrams. Yes. Exactly, yeah. 300 milligrams. Because after, uh, if you exceed that limitation, that would be considered an overdose. And, uh, you know, coffee is a highly addictive uh, substance. So, it's not that it's not very similar to uh, heroin but anyway it's addictive and okay, so far so good who knows the difference between use as a noun and usage because we come uh, we come across this point do you think there is uh, any difference between use and usage no answer okay use is a general more general term but usage is more technical and more let's say concrete and detailed uh, rather mechanical and as I say concrete but use is more abstract uh, okay so remember this class is not just for free discussion we're going to uh, practice all the four skills including grammar as well okay so the second question is from uh, mm, let me see from Hajar how coffee can help improve focus while preparing for your assessments and remember this is the beauty of leaving que questions or comments here because i have corrected hajar's question in this way that uh, the correct form of saying uh, or putting this question must be how can coffee blah 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 you know inversion in interrogation or question formation so uh let me see. Uh, Mohsen, would you please answer this question? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because when we get up, uh, my, uh, my body needs uh, some coffee or tea. And uh, after that, mm -hmm. uh, the body refresh uh, uh, for... for uh, uh, so it can uh, mm, do we have any better answer to this question because actually uh, what you said is not complete do we have any better answer anybody can I answer yes uh, coffee um, uh, as the uh, uh, in this article um, have a, a mm -hmm. caffeine uh, that uh, stimulate uh, mm -hmm. our mood uh, and uh, improve um, our uh, attention span uh, and um, yes uh, and um, Very good. reduce uh, fatigue uh, yes fatigue. Uh, uh, Fatigue, fatigue yes. tiredness. Uh, which help uh, short-term memory uh, to uh, recall information. 
precisely very good so it can just reduce your fatigue and increase uh, or improve your short-term memory and you can call the information for a longer period of time and also it can enhance your mood it's a mood enhancer and uh, yeah uh, uh, apart from caffeine uh, coffee does include uh, or also some other materials uh, that can increase the level of dopamine what is dopamine who knows uh, perhaps Shapur Shapur what is dopamine according to this article I know about the dopamine is uh, something that um, that stimul stimulate you in the better way I think and uh, cause you uh, to get more energy for doing your things I think as I know I don't know if I'm right or not mm -hmm. that's okay yeah so far so good it's fair enough dopamine uh, do we have any any uh, other answer to this uh, yes question? Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, dopamine uh, um, uh, responsible for uh, producing the pleasant feeling um, happiness mm -hmm. and uh, make it uh, easier to uh, um, focus uh, on the task mm -hmm. yeah very good so uh, of course uh, there is another neurotransmitter which is called endorphins which is more responsible for happiness so dopamine uh, indirectly can influence actually or uh, give you much happiness uh, the dominant task or responsibility of dopamine is just for the sake of uh, giving you a sense of reward and motivation you, you feel motivated to do things to do the things that you should do and uh, so dopamine is basically responsible for that endorphins is responsible for happiness and of course there are many other neurotransmitters such as uh, oxytocin uh, norepinephrine and many others uh, but and this article just dopamine has been mentioned which is definitely uh, activated and uh, let's say promoted with the help of coffee okay so far so good I don't want to speak a lot so let me and what about uh, attention span you know I, I'm not I, I, just, I just don't want to call on names so uh, if you if you're ready you can volunteer to speak anybody so what is attention span Mohsen, what is attention span? Attention span, it means uh, the length of time they, uh, you can keep your throat. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. This is the, let's say, threshold uh, of your, uh, let's say, mental ability to stay alert and to learn things, to just manipulate the information in your mind mentally so this is attention span and uh, what is the average attention span in humans which was mentioned in the article can i yes masoud you can always uh, masoud says that he wants to answer masoud anytime we do not just call on names sorry uh yeah, that's I okay. Think Anytime. Coffee can change uh, the period of uh, sleeping time, and uh, after change, um, you may not fresh uh, in the next day and next week. Uh, yes, it will fresh you today, tomorrow, but not for all day. After mm -hmm. a month, after uh, a few months, you feel that the uh, coffee cannot do the uh, same as today for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, good point. And also it was mentioned in the article, you just lose that, you will uh, form a kind of resistance to that, you know, to the uh, positive uh, effects of coffee. So you will not be as stimulated as you used to be if you continue consuming coffee yeah. actually regularly good point uh okay because you yeah. will be addicted to that 
That's why it's highly addictive. Yes, sir. And uh, mm -hmm, good point. Thank you. Just uh, keep doing that. Don't wait for my call. Uh, all right. Uh, the average attention span in humans is around 14 minutes. After that, uh, you will lose your attention span uh, gradually and you, you will not be able to just uh, digest the information or retain the information uh, in the best way as you used to do at the very beginning of that attention span cycle. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, question number three by Hajar. Okay. So let's continue. Question number three. What are the negative effects of increasing coffee consumption? And uh, so who wants to answer this question, please? Can I answer? I think yes, sure. uh, most uh, negative effect is everyone um, uh, who addict, uh, addict uh, in coffee. Um, and uh, after uh, after that, uh, everyone <coughs> should uh, should use uh, or uh, drink uh, coffee every day. But you did not mention the negative uh, or dire consequences of a high dose or overdose of coffee. Okay, uh, do we have any better answer to this question? Perhaps Shahpur Hajar and it was mentioned in this article, you know, you need to read the text before the class in order to perform some reading comprehension and listening comprehension because there is an audio or video embedded in the post. Uh, 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 yes, please. Uh, this article, uh, the, um, the uh, negative side of uh, um, consumption uh, more than uh, of coffee is uh, in Somalia in some in Somalia yes insomnia uh, that uh, insomnia yes. is uh, inability to mm -hmm. sleep uh, and uh, uh, digestive exactly. problems and uh, addiction yes Insomnia means sleeplessness. The uh, scientific, let's say, state or a kind of mental d disorder in which or according to which you cannot fall asleep easily. And also you will have some s sleep apnea and some uh, related diseases or problems. Okay, yeah, that's right. Digestive problems and addiction. All right, now the next question is from Mohsen, which is part of memory. Remember, this is the original form in the comments, which is part of memory more important. And I have corrected it in this way. Which part of memory is more important? So Mohsen has learned something grammatically and it's good for Mohsen and also the other users because the other users can just uh, notice that. Yeah. Okay, so who wants to answer this question? Yes. We have two types of memory. We have we have a long-term memories and a short-term memory. Yeah, short in, in the, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, in the long-term the memories, uh, the things remains uh, more and more in the, in the short term memories uh, it doesn't uh, work in so a lot uh, for example uh, when you want to uh, learn the vocabulary mm -hmm. and uh, if uh, it located in your long term memory it will help you mm -hmm. for uh, years and years and use it and uh, short memory doesn't work well as I know mm -hmm. Great, yeah, very good. Um, uh, which type of memory does coffee influence? Uh, for influence, long term or short term? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, in short term, the effect of coffee yeah, would be on term. which type of memory? Short term or not? Short term, yes. Exactly, yes. Yeah, right. So 
coffee will influence or let's say will make you alert because it influences your short-term memory and it, it okay. has a, a transient effect don't think that for example if you take a coffee a cup of coffee so you will be alert for 10 uh, 10 hours no no it's it has a limited let's say uh, influence or transient influence on your short-term memory and after that uh, actually you need to perhaps, much, for example take another may cup of ask you the professor okay. how much so, do you believe yeah, in uh, the use of the uh, yes, uh, yes, consumption please. of sure. uh, coffee yeah it was yeah it was mentioned in the article around three perhaps, 300 so, milligrams of first when i was uh, at the university it is their normal uh, dose. at the end i saw use whole grass and used mm -hmm. for it and it has no any addic 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 uh, addictions uh, uh, for using them, but uh, I didn't agree with using of these materials mm -hmm. because um, uh, last summer my friends invite me regularly every night to uh, have, uh, invited me for uh, drinking coffee and uh, see yourself how much is how much influence in me. And when I use it, I didn't any influences on me. And I ask, uh, what's the matter? I didn't see anything. I... Okay, so let's continue. Question number five. How long is the average attention span in humans? As I said, 14 minutes. And uh, in children, particularly young children, yeah. the average attention span is quite shorter. That's why if you want to teach children you need to just play with them or just sing songs sing songs and just amuse them in one way or another because they have a very short attention span and the question from Paymon what is the name of effective material in the coffee that helps us to become fresh we already answered that caffeine and uh, in which way it influences our body uh, yeah, we covered this issue and uh, so we can just escape that and also I have corrected your no, or there is no correction because this is your first time to be here and Shapur, what do you think about uh, taking a uh, red we uh, just uh, covered that too okay, uh, so we come to the end of this session uh, thank you for your participation